Hey, welcome back, Epic MTB Australia viewers. And today, I'm gonna bring you a full review on a light that I bought off eBay. So let's get right into it. This is the original box that my light came with. Obviously, it was better packed when it arrived. But here is the main unit. This is the Solar Storm uh, LED light. It features three Cree XML U2 LEDs. It comes with a 6,400 milliamp battery pack. It comes with a AC charger for the battery pack. The standard plug is for North America, but the most eBay sellers will also provide you with a adapter for your country of choice. And it comes with two rubber rings for installation onto your handlebars. Uh, I lost one of mine, but here's the one I still have. So this is the main light unit. This is a full aluminum alloy structure. Um, it's quite neatly built. This is a water this is waterproof, but obviously with any products like this you don't want to put it underwater. The LEDs uh, as I've already mentioned, there are three of them, and that comes to a max of 6,000 lumens, which is very bright. Obviously, this hasn't been officially tested, so don't take my word for it. Um, it does feature on the back a LED light indicator. I'll discuss what each individual light means later. Um, it also has a high performance electronic switch which simply turns the light on and off But there are multiple modes to this light. It has low, medium, high and also a strobe mode So I'm going to go through those basic functions now right here for you. So I'm just going to press it once It goes on to low, press this again, it goes on to medium, press it again, it goes on to high and now to access the strobe feature, which you can do at any stage, uh, you just hold in the button for just over a second. And there you go, you have access to strobe mode. As with these LEDs, they are expected to have a life expectancy of over 100,000 hours, which is pretty good. And so that's mostly it for the light. It's also Good to mention here that this light doesn't have to just be used for mountain biking, it can be used in home maintenance and outdoor activities like camping, fishing, hiking, even map reading, night fishing, sailing, and hunting, and of course, like I just said, mountain biking. So, here is the uh, battery pack which comes in this nifty little case where it can be mounted to different parts of your bike. Which I will demonstrate later in this review. But I'm just going to take the battery out of here so I should let you see what it looks like. There's the bag. So it's just a, uh, it's rated as an 8.4 volt 6400 milliamp battery, which I have previously said. There it is. It's got the cord coming out the end, which then on the plug goes into the bike light which I will also show later in the review and that's pretty much it for the battery and finally before we go outside to install the light onto a bike I'm just going to show you to make it easier in here how the rubber ring is installed onto the main unit so I'll just zoom in here so we can have a better look as you can see there are a few uh, like attachment points on the bottom of the light. So that you put the rubber ring over here, place this on. It's a little bit hard to do. It did take me a few goes, but easy way, put your thumb there, and then you'll go around the handlebar and link on to the back. And the handlebar will go through this point here. Okay, so let's head outside to install onto a bike and stay tuned because later on this video I will give you some footage of this light and in either in this video or a later video I'll give you a rundown of what it's like on the trail. So stay tuned, be back in a minute. 
Welcome back, so now I'm just going to give some commentary as to what I'm doing when installing it on the bike here. So first place the light onto the handlebar and use the rubber ring to secure it as I show here. There we go. Now I'm going to grab the battery pack and I prefer to place the battery pack on the stem but it could be placed in other various parts on the bike. Uh, it's pretty much just a matter as if the cable can reach to it. So use the velcro strap to secure the battery pack to wherever you choose to place it like I'm showing here. And once I've done this I'm going to now wrap the both the cords from the light and from the battery around the stem on the bike just to so I like, can like take up the slack so there's no cables just dangling around which could become dangerous. And once you've done this, join the cables, tighten the screw, and you're ready for riding.